today we will learn the software mtsys which is mainly used to form a dendrogram from your data spar data or any marker data pcr marker data so first of all we will see how the data that goes into the software looks like so for that open we will open this mtsys tutorial folder where i have already saved the data I will show you that already. Don't go through the colors here. This is just for the sake of my analysis. Here, this row indicates the number of individuals that I have collected. Suppose A, B, C, D, E, and F are six individuals collected from population one. So I have given P1. So P2, accordingly, we have A to F, P3. A to F like that so we have total 54 individuals P9 means pop nine populations and here these are the band profile from the gel electrophoresis gel uh, wh while we have run the PCR we have got this bending profile and wherever the bands were present we have given one and wherever the bands were absent we have given zero so accordingly this data matrix was prepared so these are the band profile for ISSR 5 so uh, you you prepare accordingly these are the first um, this is the first marker banding profile of ISSR 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 bands were there where some of them were present and some of them were absent so likewise we have prepared everything uh, DMD markers are also given so it's a continuous Excel sheet so for markers are given in a continuous fashion till the end of it so when we go through we have to see how many individuals are there as we already know there were 54 individuals and these are the bands total bands so how many bands were there we had 278 bands but here we have to minus two column because we have already occupied two columns in there so first and uh, first and two rows have already been occupied so their total number of bands were 276 so this thing we have to put in the first row so one 276 is the total number of bands and 54 is the total number of individuals that we have and 0 is by nature of the software we have to put it. So save this file and now we will go to the NTC software. So we'll open NTCs and this is then we'll go to NT edit. This is NT edit. We'll open this. We'll go to file. We'll import Excel using OLE and we'll find in the data. So here we'll have to look in the folder where we have saved so where we, we have saved it in um, magnolia uh, and this is tutorial this is the one and here the file is not showing we'll just type in the name then we the file will be here so open it and wait for some time Till the file uploads completely just wait for some time yes the file has been uploaded now so what we'll do is we'll go to file again we will save the file when we try to save the file this file name comes so what we'll do is we'll just delete the star mark and we will just give the name of the file 
suppose x dot nts since is the it is the N, nts file so x dot nts will just save it so now we will go to the file that we have just created this is the x file so we'll open it we will have to edit this file so for that we'll have to delete all the rows here backspace one more backspace then we'll delete this l and this one backspace one time again one backspace there should be uniformity in this so what we'll do is we'll again save this file this procedure whatever we have followed is par as as part the software so we have saved the file now now we'll have to go to the NTC software again but this time we will go to this application NTC so open this and we will go to sim similarity and then simple then input file will be the NTC file that we have just created we have to look in, in the desktop then we will go to and this is tutorial then this is the file so we'll open it we'll give an output file name maybe x dot sim because it is it is a file generated from simqual then we'll just compute it so this is done cut it now we'll go to clustering we'll go to shan and input file will be the sim file that we have just created so here the automatically the software takes in the folder but here the file is not showing the sim file that we have just created so we'll have to go here file of types then we'll have to click in all files as soon as you click all files xc will come so click here open this and output will be x dot s a h n shan since it is a shan generated file so we'll compute so oh, what we will do is we will have to increase this maximum number of tight trees to our desired in our individuals our collected individuals so we have 54 so we just have to type in 54 now we will compute it click ok cut this and you can see a icon here tree type plot tree so just click in it as soon as you click in a dendrogram will appear but this is not the complete dendrogram because some of the um, branches are merged in so what we will do is we will go to option then plot option and we will increase this otu to our individual number so it was 54 so we now click ok now this is the complete tree that is generated through NTCs. Now you can edit everything in here. You can go to option, plot option, then you can change uh, the font size. You can make it bold, then increase the size. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, you can change it like that. Let us decrease the number because it is too bold. Then you can change the x axis here everything as per your desire so click ok now and we have to save this file now so go to file go to save meta file and the file will come in the format dot emf so what you do is you remove the star and just give a name we are saving it as x dot emf and save it now we will go and see the uh, saved file. So we'll go to NTC software. We'll go to the EMF file that we have created. This one. So open it. It will be, it will open in a paint, or you can directly go to the properties and change it to paint to be open into paint. Then you have to save it in JPEG to be transferred to paper or something so save as type change it to jpeg 
and change the name to maybe anything you can change and save it okay so this is how you create a dendrogram from PCR marker based data thank you so much